Hi everyone, I'm Jim and welcome to my review of Kublai Scan, lowest form of animal. Let's begin with some background. Kublai Khan is a band that started in 2009. They have released 4 albums so far and 2 EPs. They are a 4-piece band but they use a touring guitarist, you know, to broaden the sound. That's actually a great idea. I wish more bands would do it. And I think that the main reason this band is successful and known in the metal community and the hardcore one are their lyrics and their vocalist, who sounds very emotional in his growls and screams. You can just feel the power in them. I will just mention that I first heard this band when they released Nomad, which was five years ago. It was a new album back then. I've just stumbled upon it. I've really enjoyed it, so I've checked the rest of their catalog, and I haven't found anything that was weak. So I've just kept going. Later they've released Absolute, which for me is their best record. So let's begin. The first song, Swan Song, features Scott Vogel of Terror. It's the second single and I think that it's the most emotional song, which the most sad meaning. It's basically about women who are prostitutes and they have to get through it because they don't have anything else going on in their lives, you know, they are doing this to survive and they are abused and beaten. So it's a very serious topic to begin the EP, but that's to be expected from this band. The structure is, I would say, progressive. Every 20 or 30 seconds there's completely new stuff going on. For me it's like a train of breakdowns that never stop. And that's basically every song on this EP. So yeah, I would say structure is progressive. The instruments are amazing. I really enjoy that middle of the song where it's like a breaking point for the instruments and vocals. Of course there are no singing here, but the vocalists are giving us their best performance here. A lot of emotions. And my favorite part in the song is when and Matt is screaming this line. Sometimes you gotta let the rough and drag. It just you can feel chills at that moment. And it's interesting because the final song on the EP also has a sample of a dude talking about life and he says the same thing. You can read about it. The song is replayable for sure. It makes you feel something. It makes you think about your life. Rethink your existence and how society works. I would give this one an 11 out of 10. I think it's a legendary song. I'm sure it will become a fan favorite. And it's not going to be forgotten. Loyal to None. Now this song is almost as good as the previous one. It's about standing up for yourself and cutting toxic people out of your life. As usual, there are a lot of breakdowns here, a lot of changes. I would give this one an 8 out of 10, because it doesn't hit that much as the previous one. But it's a great song and there's nothing boring about it. It flows well. Taipan. I think that this song is the weakest one on the record. It's also the shortest one. Instruments start very fast at the beginning, then it slows down to give us a breakdown. I also don't understand the message behind it. It might be about toxic people, it might be about sex. I am not sure. What I do know is that it contains the name of the app, lowest form of animal. I would give this one 6 out of 10. Resentment. Now this was the first single, it goes very hard, it contains a lot of breakdowns, the message behind this one is probably about human interactions and relationships. I would give this one 9 out of 10 because I really do enjoy every melody, breakdown and chug. It's a banger for sure and you're going to like it. And the EP ends with Dynasty. This song is really interesting, but I haven't loved every part of it. 
There were some riffs that I felt were kinda average. I really enjoyed the lyrics here because they are about vocalist friends who died of overdose of fentanyl and other pharmaceutical, you know, drugs. I can relate to this actually, so it hits close to home. The vocals are on point, especially the finer I hang my head. I just really enjoy it. So yeah, while the instruments are not on the same level as vocals and lyrics, it's still a great song. I would give it 8.5 out of 10. I am going to come back to this one. Moving on to rating the entire EP. The production is tight, it punches you. You can hear every instrument clearly without any problems. It has that clarity and heaviness, the bass shines through. Consistency is stable, there are none weak songs here. You can enjoy this from the beginning to the end. The flow is fitting, message is for sure diverse. There is a lot of social commentary here. Replayability, for sure, for sure I'm going to spin this one many many times. I think it's a great EP, go check it out if you haven't heard it yet. If you are a fan of conscious lyrics, breakdowns, heavy guitar riffs, then I think that you're going to have a good time here. I really enjoyed this stuff and I just hope that it means that in the next year we are going to get a full length. That's all from me, thank you for watching, please like, subscribe, write down in the comments what you think about this EP, have you enjoyed the Lilurker content, the breakdowns, the music. I would love to hear from you and I will see you in my next reviews. Bye!